Welcome to the guide um, to this ultimate record keeping tool. This is for every business owner who is looking for a suitable way to keep your records, show your sales, your expenses, your cost of goods, and ultimately your income statement. This one comes with no hassle and it is pretty much for all those who can't afford to pay an accountant. At least you get this tool where you can keep your sales, your inventory, your expenses, and then it builds you an income statement. So I'm just going to run through so you see a guide really quick as to how this is used and how you can actually use this. Uh, one of the advantages of some of them, uh, some of the advantages of this tool is that there is no maintenance cost if you know it breaks uh, all you need to do is just send it back to me and then I'll fix whatever uh, is wrong with it with no cost records are clean and ready to go anytime you need them because this makes it seamless I'll show you in a minute it helps you to plan your business for the immediate future like uh, it helps you to understand your expenses to reduce your cost to be able to manage your business better it also helps keep your reports ready just in case um, you want to present an income statement for the tax man also you can present you know a neat results like this to your family and friends to help attract investors you can manage your business better it also helps you to know whether you're making an income or a loss you know another advantage is you have a lifetime access to this you don't have to pay a subscription fee you know it's yours once you buy it and then you can use it whichever way you want and you know so many other advantages but let's get straight into this now let's take for example let's just take a random name you want to put your business name let's call it show we limited you just type that in okay now you have your business name showing up once you type it here take a look at the income statement you have the name of your company showing up there nice and easy then let's take for example you sell products right obviously you buy them from somewhere and then you sell to your customers when you look at the instructions here it talks about the sales you know enter all the sales by date in the sales tab enter stock as they're purchased so if if you are a retailer and then you buy and sell all you need to do is to go to number two and click on product type you know now if you sell let's say what books you have different types of books let's or uh, you know which one is easy let's use let's use products let's use um, uh, like have something in the list there but I can take it out and then let's say you sell uh, drinks let's say you got five alive let's just make it easy Fanta Coke right you can just keep typing all the products that you sell once you put it there all you need to do is to drag back here and then for example your product once you click on this you have a product drop down that has all your products in there so let's say on January 12 you bought five alive you bought Let's say you bought 20. Uh, each pack costs, uh, let's say, 100. Let's just make it easy. You know, it's done all the math for you here. If you, uh, so you see how easy that is. Once you put in the product, what you bought, the amount you bought it, it will calculate it for you. Now, Let's go back to the income statement. You can see what your income statement does for you is that it helps you calculate what your sales number is, your cost of sales, your gross profit is pretty much your margin. Basically, 
how much you sold a, a product minus the cost of acquiring the product like if i went to the wholesaler and then i bought five alive for 100 naira and then i sell it for 120 the gross profit is pretty much the 20 naira that's the 120 minus 100. so um now you understand how to put in your stock or inventory whichever way you want to call it then you can come back to the guidance anytime and say okay now i have sold 10 you know packs of five alive so you come to your sales easily say send all your sales by date click sales I've put in a date here, but you can take it out and put your own dates. Let's say it's uh, February um, 2nd, 2020, sorry, 2021, right there. What product did you sell? Five Alive, let's say you sold 10. Now, you know, easily it's calculated that for you. And for example, here you, you may want to keep a customer list. Let's say Femi bought this from you. Now you recorded your sales, you recorded your sold 10, and it's just going to do the math for you. It does all of these beautiful things. Now let's assume you paid a sales girl. Let's just say you have a sales girl, and then on the same date, uh, February 2nd, 2021, you paid salary sales girl. And then you paid to, you know, let's just say a sales girl again. So now, for the space in between sales and girl. Let's say you paid uh, uh, 5,000. Now, you've entered your expenses. When you bought your inventory, you put it in here, you've entered your sales. Now, look at your income statement. It's already calculated that for you, your sales. Is 1200 your cost of sales is 1000 your gross profit which i explained the other time is 200 naira and then you've incurred 5000 in expenses so you can see for yourself that so far in the month of february you are running at a loss of 4800 which means you know um hopefully we're gonna sell a lot more and make up for that let's assume we are now in February 3rd, and then we sell, what, more five alive, because that's all we bought, right? Let's say we sold how many again? 10, another 10. It's because we bought 20, we can't sell more than what we have, obviously. And then you sold that to Sheon, for example. You can see how your income statement has picked it up. Your sales is now 2,400, your gross profit is 400 Naira, and your expense is still the same because nothing has changed. So this nice little tool here will help you keep your records all year long, very easy. All you need to do is key in your date, put your product, the quantity you sold for, you know, and I think there's one thing I need to mention. For example, when you buy a product, when you put the cost, this is the cost, this is how much you paid for buying the product. Then here, I, I call something the margin. If you want to sell at, let's say, 110, all you need to enter here is 10%, okay? And then your selling price is calculated for you so now look at how i've changed that let me take this out and look at your sales number it's just changed by itself and at the end of the day your sales is now 2200 
and your cost of sales is 2000 So easily, this helps you keep your records clean every day. All you need to spend is maybe between 10 and 15 minutes daily to make sure you're keeping all your records and everything is clean. So whether, you know, even if you make an error, it's easy. All you need to do is say, oh, we didn't sell 10, we actually sold nine. Everything will pick itself up for you. Now, let's assume on the second or uh, on the third of February, you bought Fanta. Let's just say Fanta here. Yeah. Fanta. You bought a hundred of them and then you bought it for 150. Again, it's calculated it, but when you look at your selling price, it's the same until you put in a margin here. Always, anywhere you see enter, it means you need to actually do something. So let's say you you buy for 100 and you want to sell for 130, it means you just have to put 30%. And then here, if you eventually say, okay, on the fourth, you sold what Fanta 20, it will calculate it for you. If it is sold to Femi again, if it is a uh, cash sales, yes. If you don't sell on credit, this should always be yes. If you sell on credit, you can call this no, and then it will say okay. So you actually sold on credit to Femi and look at your income statement has picked that up so basically what this does for you is it helps you keep your records get away from all the hassle of you know paper and pen and um keeping books uh you know paper and piling things up at least you have a digital record you have this forever and you can always reach out to me for guidance if you think something is uh, not clear enough. So every time you're done, you can just hit save. Mine saves automatically. Assuming I have this off, you can always hit save, right? Now that you've saved, your data is saved, your income statement is saved, you can and let's say, for example, you eventually, um, let's put it this way. Let's say you sold, what, more Fanta. Uh, let's say you sold more Fanta, like uh, you sold 80 more. And then you sold to GD or Kemi this time. Now, look at your income statement. Now it's telling you that, oh, finally you sold enough to cover your, to almost cover all your expenses. So immediately you sell a little bit more, you're going to start, you know, making some profit right here. So your profit is positive, your negative is when there's a bracket. So um, actually, let's go, let's add another line. Let's say on the 6th, you sold some what fanta again uh how many did we buy maybe 20 more we bought 100 so now we've sold all the 100 there's no there's no way we can sell more than that you can see the quantity left saying 20. so let's go back here and say oh two oh four um 2021 and say so we bought what uh cook 300 cost per unit the same as fanta do we want to sell at 30 percent too all right once you put that in come back to sales let's say we sold fanta uh this time right so but sold coke 
let's say we sold 50 you can see it's telling you when you sold 50 this is what you have left you have 250 left it just calculates that for you so this also tells you if there's an error if if someone tells you oh if your sales girl comes and says oh we sold fanta today uh or maybe five alive we sold five of it and then you look at your stock you can see that it says you have a negative four left which is not possible so immediately when you record that you can call your sales girl and say hey i think you made an error we probably sold maybe fanta or coke you have to go check so you can see even fanta is in the negative so all you have left is coke so you see how that works and then if you look at your income statement finally you're now making a profit so this helps you to keep a tab on your business and helps you manage it properly um i believe if you have any questions please do not hesitate to reach out to me uh thank you it's femi again and thanks for your time bye